what's up guys it's your girl sickle warrior back with another video and today we're taking a different approach we're gonna slow it down a little slow the pace down and i thought i'd tell you guys a story a story about the game that changed my life and if you're wondering what that game is i am playing it it's kingdom hearts 2 uh i'm just gonna play so you have some ambient gameplay in the background um but yeah this was the first game that changed how i felt about gaming now growing up always played video games we had an nes console play super mario brothers and duck hunt two favorite games and those are the only two games we had that i know of um we played that and sooner or later down the line i got a well my brother got a playstation and we played games off of that so gran turismo uh hercules coincidentally um and i think we had some fighting games too but it wasn't until i got my first console on my own which was the playstation 2 is which I really fell in love with uh, video games in itself. And one of the, those games was Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, how I got into the Kingdom Hearts series uh, was actually um, a friend of the family had Kingdom Hearts 1. I went over to his house, we were visiting at the time, and he showed me this game. He's like, there's this cool game that has Disney characters in it. And I was like, I love Disney. What are you talking about? Show me this game. And it was... Kingdom Hearts 1 and I fell in love. It looks so cool. I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen because you don't really see too many Disney games with like an anime aesthetic to it, which was I didn't know at the time was Final Fantasy. Um, trust, uh, at the time I really didn't know that much in the video game world. Um, but yeah, he let me borrow it. I still have it to this day. He just let me keep it. Uh, played it. It's really hard. To be honest, I still haven't beat it to this day because I lost my save data on my little memory card and I just died inside because I, I wasn't going to go through that again. Um, but later on, um, I don't know if you guys have a Fry's Electronics where you are, your electronics store, wherever you buy your video games from back in the day. That's where I usually went to buy electronics and I saw Kingdom Hearts 2 and at the time it was only 20 bucks, super cheap. And I think it's been out for a while uh, by the time I had saw it for that price. And I worked my booty off. I had my mom do chores in the house. Anything I could to get that twenty dollars, so I can come back and buy this game. And when I bought it, I was the happiest girl in the world. I literally, as soon as I got home from buying it, I was those okay. So I was those kids who, when they got something new, would stare at it in the car, just waiting to to open it up when I get home. So what I did was, as soon as I got home, played it. I played for six hours straight. I did not want to eat. I did not want to sleep. Didn't want anything. I just wanted to keep playing. Um, and it was around the time where I was in the Roxas arc, so the beginning of the game. Very interesting. Um, yeah. So. Wow, brain fart. Anyways, uh, I played it for that long, and my mom, I got in trouble. My mom was like, you're obsessed with this game. I'm not having it. So she took it away from me. I was distraught every day. I asked her, can I have it back? Can I have it back? Can I have it back? I think I I was on punishment for like a month. Worst month of my life, I tell you right now. Because I was just being, I was just waiting to play this game. I wanted to beat it. And this is the first Kingdom Hearts game I ever beat on my own. I played it from beginning to end on my own, no help what a what a struggle what a ride what a roller coaster it was and from that on i had a different outlook on video games before all i was playing really was fighting games and i love fighting games as much as the next person like you saw my um dragon ball z fighters gameplay i love fighting games but it showed me that rpgs are worth thing and that you didn't always have to have another person to play with to play a video game and that single player games are just as good as multiplayer games. And the cutscenes look great. <laughs> so I, I learned, and when I got a, a PS4, you know, I dove more into RPG or JRPG as this is considered. So many different things. Um, sorry, I don't, if you guys were watching this cutscene, I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, trailers have dropped. Now, I was thinking about doing a reaction to that trailer, but it's kind of hard to have a reaction when I've already seen it. And I waited up 
try to wait up till like 2 in the morning to see it when it came out in Japan. If you guys still want me to try and do it, I'll do it. Uh, but I'm super hyped. I'm super excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. Some people don't believe it's a thing. Some people think it's just a ruse. It's not going to come out ever or in our lifetime. But I'm a firm believer it's going to come out. Um, E3, we might get our release date or even sooner uh, with the orchestra. I'm super excited for that. And uh, yeah, so... If you guys, what what was the first game? Comment down below. I guess this is the question of the day. Uh, comment down below. What was the first game that got you into gaming? I know like everybody said they played Nintendo growing up and things like that. But what was the one game that you knew like video games were your thing? Like you wanted to play video games all the time. Um, and for me, that was Kingdom Hearts 2. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this slowed down version of... You know gameplay where i just talk to you guys about some things and just tell you a little bit more about myself so you know you don't really know me and so it's a good way for you to get to know me um let me know uh thank you guys for hanging out and watching and i'll catch you guys next time i'm trying to with the whole monday wednesday friday uh schedule if you've seen that video um i'll link it down in the description basically showing you my upload schedule at the moment um, yeah, and if there's any games that you suggest I should play, like I should say, I love fighting, I love your JRPG type style games as well. Um, if you have any recommendations, I love gaming recommendations. I love learning about new games, games I never heard of, games I have heard of but never played. Um, just throw it out at me and maybe it'll be the next gameplay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I said that already. Well, that's awkward. Okay, peace out guys.